today is our day two adventure in Hakodate, Hokkaido, Japan, and we're going to take you to seven must-see, must-go places in one day in Hakodate. But before we start, the best way to support us is to subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Thank you. Hakodate is an absolutely beautiful port city of Hokkaido. So the first place that we're going to check out is the very popular Hakodate Morning Market. The Hakodate Morning Market is located just outside of Hakodate Station. It's so close you can literally walk there. It opens early in the morning and it's best to go early because some shops do close past noon. You can buy the freshest seafood and also a lot of other fruits and vegetables that you can't find anywhere else. There are also a lot of restaurants in the morning market or near the morning market. If you're willing to do a little bit of research, you can probably find some amazing bargain. They are famous for their kaisen donut seafood rice bowl. We were able to find this restaurant that costs 500 yen for kaisen donut. That's like five US dollars. Super cheap. Not only that, but very fresh and delicious. The fish market is also famous for their squid fishing. You can literally catch a squid and the worker will slice the squid and make it into a sashimi right in front of your face. It just doesn't get any fresher than this. For that video, click here. The next place we're heading to is called Yokaku, which is a beautiful park. Once inside the park, you should definitely check out this 107 meter tall Goryokaku Tower right here. And you'll be able to see the entire Goryokaku Park. Goryokaku is Hakodate's most popular sightseeing spot. Originally, it was a fort built at the end of the Edo period. Now it is a park. The signature feature of this park is that it is made into a giant star shape. The reason why this place was made into a shape of a star was because during wartime, they didn't want to have any blind spots. They want to be able to see all the enemies from all sides because at each point of the star, artillery units were installed. You do see some remnants of war left over from the Edo period. For example, we spotted these cannons. Other than that, the beauty of this park is the last thing you will associate with war. You have to come here to experience different seasons. Too bad it's not springtime yet, otherwise you'll see cherry blossoms in full bloom. During the autumn, you'll see all different colors of autumn leaves. This is definitely a great park to just chillax and forget about the world.
of course we have to get our stamp from the park. Don't forget about the other stamp machine. It's time for some food. We went to Ajisa Ramen. It's a very popular restaurant. They're famous for their Shio Ramen. That's ramen with a salt soup base, 880 yen. And that's really cheap, around eight US dollars. You order it from this machine. After pressing the button, you get a ticket and you wait. Hakodate is famous for their Shio Ramen. And Hokkaido is famous for their miso ramen. There are a lot of different types of condiments you can put in your ramen if you want extra flavors. It's an unspoken rule in Japanese culture that you always order one portion of food per person. But because we only wanted to taste, we asked if it's okay to order just one portion for two people. The staff was so sweet and nice about it. Our shio ramen was absolutely delicious, super tasty to the max. This restaurant also has other branches in Hokkaido Airport and Ramen Republic. Number four on the must-do list is Motomachi. There's a lot of East meets West architecture in this area. Going back all the way to 1859, Hakotate Port was one of the first cities to trade internationally. As a result, they have a lot of Western influence from America, Russia, to England. There are a lot of very interesting looking houses, buildings, churches. For example, this is the former British consulate. This is the old public hall of Hakodate Ward, which is the former Hakodate branch office of the Hokkaido government. This is the first Russian Orthodox Church in Hakodate. Also have to check out the Hachimanzaka Slope, which is a hilly road that leads straight towards the beautiful port. This hill is known throughout the country and was selected as the number one slope in Japan you would want to visit for sightseeing. The next must-do thing in Hakodate is Mount Hakodate. It is famous for its million-dollar night view. To see the view, you have to take the roadway from the base of Mount Hakodate. It'll take you around three minutes to arrive to the summit. However, because of the pandemic, the roadway was closed. But we were able to find a really nice taxi driver to take us there. For the full story, you can click here. I know you don't really think about burgers when you're in Japan, but you have to go to this burger place, which is the best in Hakodate. It's called Lucky Peel Rot. 
They have quite a few branches in the city and every single one has its own unique colorful decoration. For the full story, click here. Hope you enjoyed our 7 must do things in one day in Hakodate. We'll certainly make a lot more videos like this. Thank you for subscribing to our channel and thank you for your support. See you in the next video.